Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is not quite the morning of day 46 yet, but we did pick up a wandering horde last night. Um, so yeah, thought that was interesting. Never got a screamer though. Just got a nice big, big juicy wandering horde. So hopefully we should be able to burn most of these guys down. The, the heat map here is pretty hot already. I'm, I don't want to shoot anybody. <laughs> Uh, we're like really close to a screamer now. Well, that was a dog. We just fixed it all too. God damn it! Come on, you guys. Someone's got to break through. Woohoo! Another dog going off. He might bleed out. These turrets. The turrets get to these guys faster than I can get to them. Come on, you bastards. Yeah, you ain't touching me. My turret's too good. Burn, lady, burn. Getting a few bags anyway. Oof, see ya. Getting tired of waiting. Yeah, see, they just kind of get... Every once in a while I get hung up down here. I think it's just because they can't see me. Or see an easy path to get to me, that is. I'm 28 bucks, though. Is that it? Just the two bags? Oh, third. Third bag. Alright, not bad. Well, I'm not going to do any more uh, mining tonight. We are at Screamer level. I got over a stack of... Uh, Stones, which we're going to turn about 3,000 into concrete, and the rest of this is going to go straight into steel. Should be able to make about 1,200 steel, which isn't bad. It's 120 blocks upgraded, which is pretty good. Of course, I don't have my concrete on me. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see everybody in the morning. All right, I think I heard a screamer. I just thought I would push my luck. I got a little bit more iron. So I got about 1,800. We got about 2,000 um, iron here worth. I got a little bit more stone, because so we got a fair bit of stone, but I think I just heard a screamer. I was just working on a tunnel to get in and out of here if I want to get in and out a different way. I don't hear her now, though. Maybe it wasn't. Alright, well it's just about morning. I am going to head back to the base. Looks pretty quiet out here now. Did not get a screamer last night, although we did get that wandering horde. Which is nice, because that means it's going to be coming at night. And they generally don't aggro unless they can hear me. So that means I can work away, probably, there's the morning, I can probably work away at, the, at um, in the basement level, like if I go right down to bedrock and dig away down there, I can probably do that and not have to worry about a wandering horde hearing me. They might, but you never know. Alright, so we got to ramp up some production in here today. So that's what we're going to focus on doing. Uh, is there any locals? Well, it looks like there's just Mo and the construction guy. But I'm sure there's more. Yeah, I heard somebody banging over here. Let's go clear them out. I gotta work on this place too at some point, but once the horde base is like... Oh, thank you. Once the horde base is self-sufficient, 
guided steel. Then I'll uh, be a lot more comfortable and just focus on this place. So it'll end up, we'll probably end up coming down to, um, yeah, like after this next horde, we're heading off to the wasteland, but it'll probably end up coming down to, you know, one episode being a horde episode, the next episode will be repairs and gathering some resources. Then the next episode, if it's not another horde already, then we'll go do something. I might put it, I might fix it to four days or three days or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I like the variability, but at a certain point, it's going to get uh, pretty tough to do anything. Okay, we need uh, clay. Grab some of that. So in here, we're going to get steel going. Thousand. We've got a thousand going in here. That going. The rest can be. Okay, you guys are done. That can be forged iron, and then in here, uh, we're okay for. I mean, we're okay for cement. I think. I can get ten thousand. Let's get um, four thousand. That's a good start, I think. And then we'll get whatever we can get going in here now, because we do have a little bit. Okay, cool. Now, um, you can go in here. Let me get this sword, and we'll be. We'll be right back. Okay, that gets that sorted. Now we do have a crucible for here. It's already got one. What are we missing? Oh yeah, we're missing the thing. So I can just go ahead and scrap this crucible. Wait, do I want to make a forge over at the new base? That's probably a smart thing to do. So, uh, we're going to require steel for that. So let's just hold on to this then. I could scrap it. I forgot to, left it. I forgot to leave the grenades at the base. Okay, so... Uh, how are we doing for stuff here? Uh, ammo. Okay, we need coil stuff. Let's make a thousand rounds. We do have more here, though. I want to save the armor piercing for now. Let's make 1,500 rounds. Um. Oh, I know what I need to do before I do anything else. Uh, that does not go in there. I need to go here. We need to grab this and this. And make a workbench for over at the uh, horde base. So we can merge stuff and fix stuff while we're there. Um, yeah. So we gotta fix our gear. This is fine. Spear is kind of almost done, but we're okay. Somebody's fucking breaking blocks. God damn it. Got a coil carbine we can take over. Let's take over the 42 shotgun to fix. That should not be in there. Oops, wrong one. This one. All right, you done? Minute and a half. Let's clear up the locals. Come on, you bastards. Oh, you know what? We, um... I need to bring with me is the, the uh, cobblestone blocks. Somebody over here? Hello? I got skill points to spend, too. There's a certain point in this game where you reach and you're like, eh, I don't know. If you don't spend your skill points, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's always good to spend them, right? Like, especially, I mean, I got eight now. I spent like, what, seven the other day? We want pack mule, because we're going to be running across the wasteland. So let's do that. Quicker crafting's already done. Tool and weapon crafting, I don't really care that much about at the moment. Can I get this up yet? No. That's got to be 60, I think. Sex Rex. Yeah, I mean... Not that big of a deal. Parkour is a good possibility at this point. 
Haven't really needed it. Blade Master, I mean, maybe. Minor 69ers maxed out. Treasure Hunter, no. Fast Eddie, no. The scavenger, Wasteland Treasures. Does this give us acid? Doorknobs. Coffins. Uh, harvest Military Fiber. Okay. So, oh yeah, you know what? That's one of the things we need. So, yay, science. Mines, military fiber. We can make military fiber here. Advanced firearm, ammunition, and stun batons. Battery banks. Demolition is just quicker throwing stuff. I mean, that's a possibility too, but not a necessity. This is actually really nice too. Uh, sorry. Um... Is it threat assessment? Yeah. Tracking of uh, animals, and st uh, animals and stuff. So that's rifles and bows for headshot damage. You can track. You can track demons. It's kind of nice to be able to determine where everybody is. Sneak attack damage. It's very, very rare that I get any kind of sneak attack in on anybody. Uh, what's over here? Let's just hold on to the two points. I might take the points from my next horde. Yeah, it doesn't look like, doesn't look like we're getting a horde today. Beautiful. I might take the points from my next horde. And then, um... If we get... If we have ten, just spend them on a, uh... Mastery. Alright, now, what do we need from here? I need... I should take that back with me. I'm gonna need that... I'm going to need this, that, the workbench. Uh, what else do we have going? Steel, 118. A little bit more steel, not bad. That's done. We'll take that with us. Actually, we won't take that, though. Let's leave the forged iron here. We do have some over there already. So we can leave this here for building stuff. I'll probably want to leave a little bit of this here just in case we need to build stuff here. Although, I should probably look at making another coil carbine. Do we have coil stuff here? Coil gun parts. Grip. That's a shotgun bar barrel and receiver. So I need the barrel and the receiver for coil guns. So I need steel... Mechanical, I believe it's mechanical electrical parts, and then you need oil to put it together. No, I need oil as well. Grab you, grab you. Um, I need pipes. And you. So, uh, lathe. Let's get two of these barrels going. Shotguns we got plenty of, so I'm not worried about that. Got a couple of receivers going. And then... Parts and grip we have enough of, right? Parts and grips, we're good. Okay. Put this stuff back. Grab whatever residuals. And then we'll get the hell out of here. Drop the stuff back at the horde base. And then we can decide what we're going to do from there. I don't think we're going to do more work, more work on the horde base yet. Can actually do other stuff. Oh, we do have a horde. Damn. Well, okay, there you go. So much for the free day. All right, let's fill in the gaps below our... Damn. Okay. All right, well, as much as I didn't want to have to do this today, we are going to let's close this up. All right, let's fill in down here. As much as I want to grab more iron from here, this is going to be a big problem if I don't fill it in. I mean, I guess I could just fill it in with, um... Okay, so this is just all stone here. So let's just fill in that. Oh, man, really? Okay. Somehow you got past the turrets. No, you didn't. 
You're being a dick. That's what happened. Okay, I got my steel on me, so let's do this. Fuck off, guys. Oh, that was a lot of damage. I think that was from last night, actually. Alright, we're out of steel. Oh, it didn't last long, did it? So what's this from last night? Oh, maybe the uh, Molotovs? Are they really doing that much damage? They couldn't have been. The Junk Turrets maybe? Or did I just miss this from the cop splash damage? Could be. Oh, the dogs. Right. Dogs blowing up last night. All right, well, we're going to play a low-key uh, horde tonight, unfortunately. I'll try and target... I mean, it really depends on what shows up. Got to target the hazmat guys, the uh, lab technicians, things like that. I should probably put plates all over this. As a matter of fact, maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, let's go get some plates. I'm going to go back to the base in a minute and get some steel, too. God damn, i got to fill in down below. Uh, let's not get sidetracked here. Let's get... Um, 150. I don't know. Like, I mean... There's a good possibility they'll break in here. We saw what happened with the uh, spider monkeys the other, the other day. And I've had, like I said, when I've run this base before, I've had um, guys get in where there's no space and be caught in blocks and stuff. So I better... Well, I mean, the good thing about tonight's sword, that means tomorrow we're taking off for the wasteland. I am going to stick to that. We're going to just get out of here and go right to the wasteland. So we've got to make sure we have enough for that. So we can't do too much tonight. If we do too much tonight, we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to save some of the steel for repairs. Let's leave this stuff in here. I'm going to go back to the to the house too. So this guy, let's just leave him in there for now. So what do we need on us? Whew, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to have to run with coil to the wasteland. We have to make coils. Actually, we have. Where's the workbench? I don't... You know what? I need a land claim block. We'll get that put down somewhere. Because um, I want to be able to pick up this uh, workbench. Let's put it right here for now. Okay, we need to fix the coil carbine and the coil shotgun. You and... Where are you? Here. I mean, like I said, we're not going to do a lot of work with these guys tonight. That's not too bad, I guess. We got we got more coil, coil weapons coming anyway. So that's good. Um, let's put this down for now. We can get this out of here. Actually, let's leave it. We'll pick it up when we come back. Um, let's just close you up. Okay, back to the house. We're going to grab some stuff. Uh, I'm going to make sure I have everything we need for the wasteland. I'm going to have the key cards. My, I need my hazmat gear. What else we need? Key cards, hazmat gear. I'm kind of excited for this. I'm kind of am and I kind of am not. Uh, we need gas. That's the other thing we need. Key cards, hazmat. Um, I mean, guns and ammo and healing stuff for sure. It's all got to fit in our inventory and we got to have room to bring stuff back in our inventory. I wish we could have gotten to the uh, Master Mechanic and built a Marauder, because then we could just drive across the wasteland, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it in this bike. We're going to have to run. 
Oh, look at this. They decided to wait. Hey, guys. Just waiting patiently for me to come home. So nice of them. God, we got a body farm going out here. Okay, let's see if these parts are done. They are. So let's make two uh, coils. Now, we should be able to make 60 coil carbines. Yes, we'll make two of them. Okay. Okay, so those will be done shortly. Okay, we got how much? 702, let's get that started. Oh, I really hope we don't have a lot of repair on the base tomorrow. It's going to be problematic. I mean, I guess I should figure we're going to have to be doing a horde somewhere else. But with the hordes that we just we just saw, I don't know if I can do that though. It's going to be brutal. It's 40, day 46 too, the traders restock. Ooh, should I go check out what he's got? Mm, I don't think we have time. Uh, repair kits. Let's grab some of these and keep them over at the base. Uh, we can go ahead and repair this though. Get that started. Now, uh, we've got med stuff. We're making glue. So what am I going to need here food-wise to go through the wasteland? I'm probably going to want to take, um, I'm going to take half a stack of coffee just for regeneration. Um, food, that's probably, that's going to be plenty. Hmm. Liquids, worst case scenario, we find stuff when we're down there. Like, I mean, we've got, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have enough, I think, for the two days we'll be gone. So that's that done. Medical supplies. We have some over at the Horde base, but let's grab um, some for the ride. I'm going to take an extra stack of this and a stack of this. These will all go in the bike. And let's grab couple of those it's things that we can ditch too if we don't if we don't uh, use them right I got enough to make more bandages if I need to okay we need our hazmat gear God, I don't like running across the wasteland with no, no armor but we're gonna have to do it okay so the hazmat gear uh, dart ammo do we have I'm gonna take all of my dart ammo um, what are we going to roll with down there, though? I think we go pork and sh You know what? Pork and shotgun and a coil carbine. I think that's what we do. So we've got ammo at the horde base, so we'll use that. Okay, I'm okay with that. Lots of coil ammo for tonight. Some more steel. We'll get some more blocks upgraded. Probably the walkway. Uh, what else? Okay, those are done. We'll take those with us. A little bit more concrete. I think that's all. Wait, a couple more here. 39 blocks that we can upgrade. Okay. Um, shit, do we want to go to the trader real quick? Is he going to have... He might have ammo. Hmm, man, okay. Just grab a few things to sell. Grab one stack of that. Because he's not really going to have anything important. Okay, good enough. Let's go to the trader real quick and then we'll head to the horde base. I should really... You know what? I should make the supercharger mod for this thing. I wonder if we have time. I don't even know if I have enough to, to do it. I should have the materials. Because then if we put a supercharger in this, we should be able to get down there a hell of a lot faster. Alright, we got some zombies outside. Apocalypse is not so bad. Okay, you almost bought everything. Alright, perfect. Now, do you have ammo for me, buddy? Any kind of 7.62 or stuff? You got the copter. Your stock's on day 51, huh? Steel ammo. 
Oh yeah, we need to make the Mark II turrets too as well. Nothing. Wow. It's brutal. No hazmat. And the day I need something from you, and you got junk. Okay, fair enough. We're out of here. Alright, we're going to whip home. We're going to try and grab... See if we can get the supercharger started. Because that'll cut down a huge amount of time. If we get to the bunker at night time, I can probably do the bunker at night. Probably. It's all going to depend on what's down there. You know? I really need to put my entrance and my exit at the same spot. Shoot here for now. Okay, what are we here for? We're here for gas. Put you away. The coin and... Although we might find a trader when we're down there. Let's... Let's just take 50. Okay, um... My workstation. Did I not make a vehicle workstation? You know what? I didn't. Because I didn't need one. Um, right. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Uh, it should just be in a workstation, right? Mechanics workstation. Forged steel, mechanical parts of wood. Okay. We can do that. We got the steel on us. Uh, mechanical parts. Three minutes. And then we got the time it's going to take to make the uh, supercharger. What does it take to make a supercharger here? Eighty leather, twenty duct tape, two hundred polymer, eighty mechanical parts. That's something we have. So that, that, uh, polymer. And oh, wait, what was it? What else was it? Twenty duct tape, which we have to make. Okay. I mean, the other thing we could do is put it at the horde base. We're okay. We're alright. We're okay with time. Right? Right? Besides, I need the extra steel anyway. But you know what we do need? Gas. Do we have oil shale? We do, and I think we have enough oil. So let's turn that all into gas. Ten thirty-two, so thirteen. Perfect. Come on, hurry up. Well, we got lots of coil ammo. We should have it all before we go. So I mean, we'll be using the coil carbine tonight. Hopefully, we get enough points to be able to raise that up another, our automatic weapons up one more. Oh man. I almost forgot. I'm going to take six. I don't think I need six, but I'm going to take six. I know we don't need the blue ones. Oh, man. Could you imagine getting all the way down there and then, like, not having the cards? I've done that so many times. So many times in offline playthrough, I get so excited about, like, finally going to the bunker. And then I get all the way over there, I'm like, fucking forgot the cards. Drive all the way back across the map. Alright, there it is. Just gonna drop it down right here for now. Perfect. Worry about it later. Supercharger, craft. 223, so, or 233, not bad. I should have put the goggles on to do that to make it quicker, but whatever. Alright, so we can put you guys away now.
I think we're looking pretty good. We got the fuel, got the coffees for running across the uh, terrain. We should have enough ammo. We're gonna have the coil carbine and master pork and shotgun. I'll have two things of shotgun ammo. Do we actually have any more Molotovs? We don't. I wonder what I left at the old horde base. I know I probably left stuff there. I should probably get as much of this moving as I can for when we come back. Because I'm not going to have time probably when I get back to uh, get stuff ready for horde. Um, nothing we need here. Big boy's downstairs and he's about to destroy some stuff. Just hooray for that. Uh, what do we got here that we need? I was going to do something. What was it? One minute left. Hopefully we don't run out of time. Oh, for f I can't go down there yet. Gotta wait for this to finish. He's got 48 seconds to wreck stuff and then I'm coming down to wreck him. Maybe if I keep moving around it'll freak him out. He won't know where I am. He'll beat on stuff less, maybe. Still got a thousand steel coming. Which is good news for us. Come on, man. 30 seconds. Alright, well there it is. Excellent. We'll grab whatever gas is left here. That'll have to do. we got to get over to the horde base. Okay, so I think... Oi! Oops. Well, he deserved that. And you're done. Alright. I think we're probably out of uh, time here. Uh, open. Drop you in. Nope, we're not out of time. Beautiful. See how much faster this is. Okay. That's a fair bit faster. That'll, that's probably going to save us about 30% of our time. Alright, we're going to park the bike out back again, like we did last time. Um, I'm not going to put... Actually, we're going to repair this, though. Three is fine. Full fuel. Okay, now. Let's do some of this. Okay, you're fine. Just do a bit of this around the outside. I'm not going to do a whole lot of it, but... This is where they're going to be hitting. Do I have concrete blocks on me? I don't. Get a few crafting here while I repair this stuff. Alright, getting a bit of this updated now. I should be able to sneak in here. Shoot. Damn it! <sighs> you normally can just get between the two blocks like that. You'd think. And that block was even damaged. Figures. Figures. Um. Plate. How much do we have left here? 22. I guess the dog blew up out here? That's always the fear. I mean, the good thing about these steps, like I said before in the past, is that because they're so thick and chunky, 
that even if stuff does go off and kill a few of these blocks out here, there's still plenty of, you know, leeway for the zombies to get up. Okay, that should probably be fine. Uh, let's do... How much do we have left? 17, huh? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that'll cover this bit. Don't care about those two. We're fine here. You know, a little bit of oversplash damage there. Okay. Now, what about out here? I think those are fine. I don't think they're going to, um... I'm going to update these guys. I'm out. Alright, that's probably going to be fine. Alright, now, um... Get this weird-ass splash damage that sometimes gets in. Cops vomit is bizarre. Like sometimes you get like one point on the wall or a floor block. I mean it could be you, but most likely it's the cops. It's the caps, I tell ya. Okay, those guys can all go in there. Ah, uh, we're still making concrete blocks, eh? That's okay, we'll keep making them. Um You can go in there. You can go and actually we're gonna keep you out for a second. So uh, I need another chest. Let's grab these guys. And let's grab Where are you here? Uh, I want here, here, and then advanced. This way. One, two, three. Do I do the full thing? Yes. We picked this up. So that's at least splash protected inside there. And what we'll do is we'll put another chest down for the stuff that we're just going to take with us tomorrow. Man, I'm terrified because this first day, depends on when we get out of here, if we just like say screw it and leave the zombies alone and just go and not even think about, you know, waiting around for them. Let's take this out. That, that, um, workbench is staying here. Two stacks of ammo for sure. Okay, you guys can go in there. Those guys, that. This is all for Horde Knight. Uh, Porkin's shotgun, let's not use it tonight. Let's leave the shot that shotgun ammo out. The M4 though, I don't know yet. The Molotovs, we don't need them right now. We're gonna definitely want them for when we're out there. I should have made more and I didn't. Alright, now, uh, you. Modify you. And we'll modify you. Yeah, I know. I could have better. I could have better mods. That can go in there. Mm, let's leave the M4 in there. The rest of the dart ammo. Yeah, we'll take all the dart ammo with us. So we've got this ammo for tonight. That ammo for tonight. 
Some grenades if we need it. Some wood if we need it. Turn that down. We can get a good organization going here. We don't need this. Um, gonna hold on to those just in case. Gonna hold on to that just in case. We need to have some steel on us, some forged iron, electrical parts. Definitely want that. Those guys are fine. One of these guys, hopefully they don't forget to take it tonight. We get the grenades on us if we need them. We can go down there. Where's our shotgun? Here it is. Still in pretty good working order. Second turret in case we need it. Um, what about some concrete on us? Just in case. Are we missing anything? First aid. Those guys recog. Maybe. We'll put it down there for now. I don't know. I mean, we probably won't use it, but... I'm trying to save it for, like, later when we're really going to have nasty hordes. <coughs> Alright, well, I think that's probably it. Let's make sure this turret... Is loaded. I think I'm gonna leave you on bird duty tonight. I want to take the better of the two turrets with me tomorrow. So you're on bird duty. Okay. All right. So we're gonna focus on. You're reloaded already. All right. We're gonna focus on the military zombies. We're gonna focus on the hazmat zombies. We're going to focus on... What else are we going to focus on? Hazmat. Oh, the lab technicians. We're still looking for a lot more red pages. We should get a bunch down in the resource... Or the uh, research lab. If we go through it twice, like I think we have to, we'll probably find enough pages. And it'll really depend on... Let's take an extra stack out of there. Put it in there. Actually, you know what? No. Oh, uh, mm, I think we're okay. All right. It's going to be a quiet night today, tonight, guys. This horde is not going to be completely brutal. We're going to face off whoever's here, like I said, and then, um, you know, we'll focus down the. Uh, Really particular bad guys, or not the bad guys, but the uh, zombies we do want to kill. Actually, we should probably... I mean, I could work from here. And try and select my target. Which is what I might do. Yeah, it's nice that these turrets are in range. Alright, let's turn on the uh, generator. Man, I really wish this map... You know, I, I rushed through it to start the Darkness Fall series. I should have waited because I've been like... And I know I've mentioned this in the past. I've been generating maps and playing around with the number of cities and things like that. The types of cities to try and get some pretty cool looking maps. The number of um, crevices, the number of lakes. And then I've been going in and, and rather than um, just leaving them all hardline terrain, I've been, I've been like, you know, making the coastlines all sandy. You know, at certain points of sandy beaches and stuff. Uh, the transitions between green and desert, I've some of them I've extended out a fair bit. So it's like desert and, and green mixed together. So you get these this nice little uh, gradation between like, you know, the, the hardcore green with trees and the, and the desert. Um, and I do the same with the green and the snow biome, uh, which is nice because it kind of spreads it out. All the mountains are snow at the top and then they kind of like the snow tapers off to the bottom where it's you know goes into trees and stuff and then if and then it, if it goes if it's in the middle of a desert then it kind of the uh, the gradation starts at the top so it's like snowy then it's a you know trees and then it gets down to the bottom where it becomes desert so there's like this nice little transition um, and then if there's like lakes, depending on how the lakes are, if there's like an island, sometimes I'll put like a little sandy beach on the one side of the island or along the one side of the lake, 
depending on where it is and what's going on with it. And then the the uh, the um, radiation biome. There's the gradation between that and the green biome and wherever else it's attached to. So I put kind of like desert, some green, and then and re then radiation. So it's like it's all spread out. So as you're approaching the radiation biome, there's like bits and pieces of patches of stuff. Um, so it's like this nice little um, transition between whatever biome you're going to into the into the wasteland. This is kind of cool. And I actually reduce the size size of the well, depending on how much it starts off. But I generally will reduce the size of the wasteland um, a little bit because it's just too gigantic. Um, it still has all the cities and everything else in it, so that's fine. But um, I just reduce the size. And then I also include, include craters on the map. So wherever there's craters, I go and fill those in with the, with the, uh, um, the wasteland as well, the radiation biomes. So it's like they were like nuked. Those areas were like, well, like either nuclear bombs or whatever. And then I do gradation into those. So it's like desert or whatever, gradded into it. So it's, you know, I've been really enjoying the maps that I created, plus the ones that only have traders in the western towns and the, um, the rural towns. And then the big cities don't have any traders at all. So the, the thought behind that is that you start off in some place that's really easy. Most of the time when you spawn, you spawn next to a western town. So you start off there, um, and you start off with a trader there, and then you do your thing. And I, what I try and do is I try to get, like, um, I can't leave that town until I'm able to build myself a uh, golf cart. And then when I get a golf cart, then I can move to the next town. So that's what I try to do, just to, to increase the challenge. It's kind of fun that way. It's like, it, it really makes you feel like you're going from one place to another across the map, rather than just, you know, randomly driving around everywhere. Because, I mean, that is kind of the game, but... You know, having that kind of fixed starting area and then moving to the next area, moving to the next area, it kind of, and then challenges challenges then increase as you go along. I think it's kind of nice as well. And then not having a trader in a big city means you can't just, I mean, you could build your house there, but then you always got to drive, drive somewhere else to go talk to the trader. Because at a certain point, the traders become less important anyway. Alrighty, well... Let's see what we're up against tonight. The baller. We had hazmat, like a lot of hazmat last time. We got spiders. Okay, hazmat guys. Nothing. Like I said, we got to take it easy. Well, I want the hazmat guy. Nothing. I'm interested to see how many of these spiders get by the turrets. Because we had a few of them at the door last time. Is that a cop? Did he uh, die? Yeah, see, he couldn't get in, eh? That last spider zombie that got in the last horde was able to, uh... get lucky, I think. Because they generally can't get in there. The hazmat guy died? No, he didn't. Oops. My bad. He's down. Hazmat. Oh, he dropped a bag. Perfect. Hopefully it's Hazmat here. Quiet. Yep. Next episode might be pretty darn short, too. It might be a lot of driving and... Well, the run through the wasteland, I'm going to record the whole thing. And, and show you the whole thing because I'm really interested to see how well I can get through the wasteland with just the uh, hazmat gear on and not um, and no proper uh, radiation armor or anything
Okay, well, let's see if we can, uh... Oh, yeah, it works just fine. Hey, buddy. Cop! Interested to see what the second wave is going to hold. Quiet. Who's banging what? These guys are like really enjoying banging the uh... hazmat. They're really enjoying banging the catwalk for some reason. Like there she's banging the catwalk. I should not be shooting their legs. Didn't make it. Whoops. Did he die? Yeah, I died. Let's get our skill level up, baby. Gotta be more selective. Where? Where's that cop? Hazmat. There he is. He's down. I'm burning through my ammo. I gotta stop. They're banging down there. Hazmat! I see you, fuck. Come on. Got him. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to collect all the bags, eh? Actually, will they. St I'm interested to know if they'll stay and not despawn. Actually, should pull this uh, outside door up now. Next wave's coming. Hazmat! Where'd he go? There he is. All right, next wave's in. That's a cop. All right, we're gonna have lots of cops tonight, I think. I saw you, you fuck. Did I get him? So hard to tell. No, I didn't. I'm still there. Well, he blew up somewhere. Turret's still working, so. Oh, it matters. Alright, well, time to lay off for tonight. Where'd that cop go? Did I get him? I think I got him. Don't hear any explosions. 
Said I was gonna lay off and here I am shooting at him again. I can't stop myself. Ooh, got you too. Speed down? Oh, hey. Not doing a lot of damage to this thing. Well, take it back. Those groin shots gotta hurt. Bears down. Okay, we got another couple of these guys. Get some damage in before they get around to the door. They may get knocked down though. The one thing I discovered is that your blunt weapon skill goes up every single time those turrets hit something. Don't know if that was working as intended, but it, like, look, look, see my crosshairs? It's recording as, as hitting them. All right, 103, five skill points. The question is, do we have... No, not yet. Another four levels there. Nah, garbage. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. Heard a block break. Just concrete, though. Hey, you left me a bag. Can I reach it? Sure I can. Oh, that was a cop. Ah, fuck you. Really want a piece of me. A little bit of coin. How are we doing for damage here? A little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Tiny bit. Well, see ya. Where's that cop? I don't know if we're in the third stage yet or what. There he is. Did I get him or no? There he is. Shit, shit, shit. Ran out of ammo. Oh well. Guess I'm replacing some blocks. What was that? Top speed? How are you doing for ammo? You're fine. Could be birds. Definitely need armor piercing ammo. Damn fucking dog. They're just not getting by these turrets. Even these big guys. Alright, I'm shooting the wrong guy. All right, is that a cop? No. I think we're at the tail end here. Oh shit. Well, there's a hole down there now. Not exactly sure why this guy was crouched. Oh, a couple things. 
just uh, trap those guys. Oh, you know what we can do? Bring that down. Because we have them. Haven't had a chance to use them yet. Keep finding them and not using them. Demo. Somebody at the door. Where's that demo? Shit. Did he fall off? He did. Well, we got a big hole to fix. Do it when we come back. Cause nothing's, nothing's gonna stop me from going to the wasteland now. Another demo. Got the cop. Missed him. Man, I'm burning through my ammo. I gotta stop. Well, that guy's done. Damn it. Somebody did mention putting that block, putting the uh, turrets down half a block. I may have to go do that. The weird thing is, is when I ran this base before, I never had that happen. I guess maybe if I turn the turret, I've got to turn more towards where they're coming up. If I turn it slightly so it's facing the other way, rather than hitting them directly in front, it'll hit them from the side more, I guess? I don't know. I can't think of how else to do it. But they're just not even... We gotta grab all the bags in the morning, too. Thanks for the headshots, buddy. Not exactly sure how that happened, but... They seem to, like... I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Keep those out. I mean, I guess we can just finish up these. way they can't see us. Alright, that's the morning. Alright, let's put this away. Damn it! Really? Oh, for fuck's sakes. You know, I really wanted to go today. I really did. Oh man, okay. Oh, we got another junk turret. Alright, you guys gotta go down here. 
So what are they doing when they do that? Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be dicey. Oh, they blew the bridge up too. Well, that's just my problem not having enough steel. My fault for not having enough steel, I guess. We're still gonna go to the research. And of course, a wandering horde. Why would the Wandering Horde not show up right now? when you think your base is good enough to handle a horde you get a the wrong type of zombie Oops. all right well let's gather up all this stuff So I think for sure, it probably was the, uh, it probably was with the angle the turret was at. I think if the turret was at a different angle, um, I think probably what would have happened is it would have been a lot less nipple tickling and a, uh, a lot more back punching. That's well, actually not as bad as I thought. That's just uh, blocks. And we can repair those without too much of an issue. We're gonna gather up all this stuff, we're gonna drop it off and we're out of here. I just had a bag disappear through the ground. It was kind of clipping right there and now it's gone. And I'm not breaking the block to go get it. Okay, we picked up a bunch of good stuff. But I'm not going to go through it all right now. I mean, overall, it's not that bad. Right? Right? It's all fixable. We did not get very many pages. Bunch of scrappable stuff, though. All right, I'm going to load up for today. We're going to get it. We're going. I'm going down to the bunker. I'm not going to not do it. All right, well, let's got that sorted. I think we're ready to go. Uh, I'm going to take one of these before we go. So our wellness is up to 300. Uh, we've got everything here. I think we're going to need... Oh, okay, I reloaded the... Uh... A new coil shotgun, or a new coil rifle that is. I don't think there's anything we need. Key cards, right? We got picked up a couple last night. We got some hazmat. We got all our hazmat gear. First aid supplies. Enough ammo to do this. Got the junk turret, junk ammo. Uh, I think we got repair kits. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Are we reloaded here? We are. 
All right, everybody. Well, that'll end, end this episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. Tomorrow we're off to the wasteland, and uh, hopefully we don't die. Until next time, we'll see you later.